As Whoopi Goldberg's suspension from The View goes on, support for the comedian continues. If you remember last week, Whoopi was suspended for two weeks after saying the Holocaust wasn't about race. Now, many found Whoopi's comments to be offensive, which is why ABC temporarily took her off the air. Some time ago, Monique made headlines after calling Whoopi the help. Monique appeared on The View, and the two disagreed when it came to the topic on pay inequality, and Monique struggled with Lee Daniels, Tyler Perry, and Oprah. Whoopi told Monique that she could have schooled her in the business. Well, now that Whoopi is in trouble, it seems as though Monique could have schooled Whoopi about how studios and networks can treat and blackball their talent. Today we have our Comedy Hype analysts, Vanessa Fraction and Pierre, calling in with Capone in the studio to give their reactions. But first, let's take a look at this clip. We've had this conversation. Yes, mm -hmm. And I said, if you had called me, mm -hmm. I could have schooled you mm -hmm. on what was expected. And when we did have that conversation and what I said to you, mm -hmm. my sweet sister, I said, Whoopi, at what point do we stop saying the next time? Yeah. When I said Whoopi Goldberg was the help, let me tell you what I meant by that. Mm -hmm. When I have a woman that says to me on national TV, I could have schooled you. Well, you wanted to school me on how I was supposed to work for free. Mm -hmm. I simply don't want that type of education. Mm -hmm. That's the education you're fine with. That's not the education I want. And that's not the education I want to pass down to my little sisters saying, you just got to do it. Let me school you. If they're not paying you, baby, that's called slavery. Now, we played that clip for context, but first I just want to backtrack just a little bit and get your reactions. Now, as I mentioned, Whoopi made a, made a comment that was deemed offensive. She apologized for it and then was suspended. Pierre, I want to start with you. What were your thoughts when you saw that Whoopi was suspended after apologizing? I wasn't shocked. I mean, you know, she did offend those who run that business. So you offend those people who run the business, you're gonna hear you're gonna hear a little louder than if you offend one of us or some other situation, you know. So I wasn't surprised at all. I wasn't shocked. Capone, I wanna ask you, since you're in the studio with me, what are your what are your reactions when you first heard about Whoopi's suspension? Uh of course everybody know I was upset. Whoopi's a very, very, very good friend of mine. Um I just when did we come to a point that we can't give our opinion for something? That's that woman's opinion. And that's pretty much all it was. Well, whether she was right or wrong, it's her opinion. And when you give your opinion and you got to be penalized for it, it's just, what are we coming to now? You can't say nothing. And it, it's annoying to me. I don't think she should have got suspended. I don't think she should apologize. I think I, I don't think she said it to hurt anybody's feelings. I think she was expressing what she truly believed mm -hmm. and got forced to apologize. Right. Uh, Vanessa, I, I want to come to you and get your reaction as well. What was your reactions when you heard of Whoopi's suspension? Um, I was surprised, honestly. I thought it was unmerited. Um, as opponent said, it, it was her opinion. She wasn't name calling. She wasn't trying to be offensive. She literally was saying, that hey, this is what I thought that this was a, what this was about, and then when uh, she stood corrected, you know what I'm saying. I think it's just fine to apologize. Um, a lot of people do it. Um, if on a sports show, they'll they'll go through the whole thing and then do that thing where they go like, well, let me fact check. You know what I'm saying, and go back and correct all the things that they did wrong. I think Seth Meyers does that every Monday or something. He goes back and let me go fact check everything that I might have gotten wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because we can get it wrong. And so when uh, she did get it wrong and knew that she offended people, she apologized for that and said, I should have said it was both. I shouldn't have said that it just wasn't about this one thing because that can be quite offensive. And so I thought the suspension was, I thought it was a bit too much. Right, and I, and I think this brings up a lot of people were kind of thinking the same way that Whoopi was thinking as well. I've been seeing, you know, in the comments and things, people saying like, oh, well, I, you know, I didn't know that this would be offensive if I was to say it. But I want to go back to the video that we just watched with Monique as she explained what she meant by calling Whoopi the help and, you know, saying that she could school Monique. Um, do you, do you think it was, or this could be Whoopi's wake up call. You know, if you look at the, how ironic it is, Whoopi's last name is Goldberg. If you look at the origin of that, do you think this is a wake up call for Whoopi and Pierre? I want to get your thoughts on that first. Um, I, all right, I'll answer that. But I also was always wondering, my, my brother Capone, are you, were you cool when uh, Kanye said slavery was a choice? I mean, just his opinion. I mean, you, you roll with that. We shouldn't be a, you know, judge on our opinion. Hell but, no. Okay. Okay. Hell no with that. But hell no. Uh, no, but, but he didn't say Kanye but, should get fired. Kanye still no, doing music. No, he just I, had I, his I, opinion. No, 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 I know. You're right. I'm just saying, as long as we have our opinions and not get judged so harshly. That's why I have my opinions on this show and I shouldn't get judged so harshly, right? Because it's just opinions. 
But you can right. be judged. You just so shouldn't Pierre, be canceled. You can so Pierre, say I what ask, you want to okay. say. It's sure, just like sure. so. Pierre, Pierre, I want I want to go back go back to the question though. Do you think this is a wake up call for Whoopi? Looking back on it, yes. I mean, I mean, it's a wake up. I mean, you know, she knows that she's not un, not untouchable. You know, she's gonna have to watch what she say. And you'll see if she's back on that show again, she'll watch what she says. So it's a wake up call. If she if she if she cares about that job enough, she'll watch what she says for the future. And I guess she'll know she can't just say whatever she wants. So yes, it's a wake up call. Vanessa, I'll bring that same question to you. You know, looking at the video, you know, referencing to the video that we just watched and just seeing things, how they, you know, come out over time. Do you think this is a wake up call for Whoopi? And if so, why? I don't know. Um, in, in, in the, just in terms of, I get what you're saying where she even, she is like, come on, what the hell? I got, I got a two week suspension. You know, I don't, I don't know if that's based on kind of Monique's comment about see, see, see how you to help, you know what I'm saying or whatever. Or are we just in that sensitive time where no matter who on that panel would have said that in a strong mm -hmm. sense of saying like, no, 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 it was not. Cause you know what I mean? She said her opinion. Then when someone said, well, no, it was about race. She was like, no, it was not. It was about humanities yeah. and justice against, you know what I mean? If anyone on that platform would have doubled down on it or whatever, would they have been suspended? Probably so. So I'm not True sure that. if it's just her wake up call or is it the wake up call for us as we keep seeing like, damn, how sensitive are we going to get? Right. To where no True. one can make a mistake, apologize and not have to, you know what I mean? Come on. Right. Have to, True. And then Capona, I want to get your thoughts. I see you over there. Do, do you think this is a wake up call? What is a wake up call? That's 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 the key question to me. What is a wake up call? Uh, is the wake up call white people telling us you're black and we own you? I, I mean, what is the definition of it? I keep hearing it all the time. I heard it with Steve Harvey. He got a wake up call. I hear it with all of these people. We're black. We know we're black. And there's there's certain uh, things in life that we should not be afraid to challenge. And that's one thing is speech. Uh, when you don't go about trying to hurt anybody's feelings or everybody's feelings that get hurt. Do you get woke up? Like, okay, you can't say that. You know you're black and you're not supposed to say that. No, I don't know what a wake up call is. I just think that somebody who has power wanted to show that she works for somebody and that's the way it is. Do you think it's a, a, a wake up or I guess, do you think certain celebrities forget that, you know, hey, I'm, I'm black and if I say this, I may get different. Cause, cause let, me, and let me bring up an example. So you look at Joe Rogan right now, mm -hmm. who's in the news. Joe Rogan said some offensive things, but he has the Spotify CEO standing behind him, standing behind him, excuse me, saying, you know, I don't feel like silencing Joe Rogan is the best thing. Do you think that some black celebrities kind of forget that they're black when, you know, in certain situations where they don't maybe take that stance that so, you're speaking of? So if Joe Rogan would have got uh, suspended, mm -hmm. is that his wake up call? Do white people get wake up calls? I, that's all I want to know. <laughs> I really. Go, go no, ahead. go ahead, Vanessa, go ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead, Vanessa. Um, no, I was just saying that I think it's more about the green. It's not about the black or the white. I think that he presents m more money. You know what I'm saying? Because there's been white people that got suspended or, or what have you. Unfortunately, sometimes it benefits them more. I, I can't remember the country guy's name. I think it's Wallen, W-A-L-L-E-N. He had said, um, uh, 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 I think he said, the N word. I can't remember what he said, but it was racial, racist. It was offensive or whatever. And he got taken down for a minute or whatever, but then came right back up, like even harder, like it, it, it helped almost, you know what I'm saying or whatever. And so it, it's not that you, I don't think that it's the fact about uh, the wake up call of, for being black. I think it's the wake up call of he makes us more money than you do. You know what I'm saying? Like well, you're not in right. necessarily, necessarily in a position to do right. that. If that makes Pierre, sense. But, Pierre, I want you to but also, on that. If, if we as colored people of color are on platforms that are not owned by us, we're going to be pushed around here and there. This is what it is. If it's our if it's our platform, we can speak up and, and, and stand strong in what we say. If you're playing on their field, it is what it is. It's their field. I mean, they're going to make the rules. So. You know, at the end of the day, we need to, you know, in, invest in our own platforms more, and so we can have a freedom of speech a little more. Because sometimes, you know, we're in a what a cancel culture right now. Any little thing slightly don't sound right. People go hollering and screaming. And if you don't make the most money, you get pushed out quicker. And if you're not on the right platform, you get pushed out quicker. So, there yeah. We have. And Pierre, I think I think you bring up a great point. One more question before we close out, and I, I want to start with you, Pierre, right there. So in the clip that we just watched, watch, excuse me, you know, Monique was talking about how Whoopi said that she could have schooled Monique on how to operate, you know, in the business um, and do things differently than she did. So I want to ask you, do you think, you know, now that we're where we are now, that Whoopi probably should have supported and listened 
to Monique um, sure, instead sure. of being defensive. Sure. I, well, I detected no lies in what uh, what my sister uh, Monique said. Um, Monique is still on the fringes of of, you know, of the industry where Whoopi's entrenched in it. You know, she's been around in the, with the top brass enough. So yeah, she should have pulled her and said, "Baby girl, this is what we need to do. This moves the shit, you know, moves or whatever." And like like Monique said, "Hey, I'm from the streets, basically. I don't work for free. Now I don't play. The, I don't tap dance. I don't play the game. And I respect that, you know. And you know, Whoopi might say, "Hey, this is how you got to play the game to get further on. It's okay if that's how Whoopi wants to do it. That's her way. If Monique doesn't want to do it that way, it's, you got to live at the end of the day on your own decisions. And I respect, you know, you know what Monique said and then how she lived and what she's done so far." Capone, I want to ask you that same question. Do you think, uh, you know, Whoopi should have supported and listened to Monique? I think a lot of us should have listened to Monique. She's been saying this for a long time. Um, unfortunately, I agree with Pierre with saying it's their game. Yeah. We're playing their game. And as long as we play their game, they will make up the rules. I mean, nobody is... Uh, everybody can be touched. I mean, look at... Bill Cosby, we can go on and on, you know, you could say it's one thing, but we all know that he tried to buy NBC and that's why he wound up in prison. So, uh, you know, as long as you play their game, you're going to play by their rules until we make a difference. And Monique is not probably getting all the parts that she should be getting because right. she's a great comedian, great actress. She's a great person. But once you speak up for yourself, somebody tries to shut you up. And they get together. And that's my problem, is that we don't get together. Vanessa, I want you to chime in on this one. Looking back, do you think Whoopi should have supported and listened to Monique? I think based on what Whoopi said, yes. You know what I mean? Because one of the things that stood out to me was the fact that when Monique said, we were on national television, and you said, I could have helped you, I could have schooled you. Well, if that's the fact, and you really felt that way, one, <laughs> how would you say that like that after the fact? You know what I'm saying? That was a little different to me. Um, and yeah, you should have called her then. And if she wanted to accept, you know what I mean, your advice and go down that path, then that would have, she would have had that option. But to, you know, kind of say after the fact, I could have showed you how to do it different. You know, it just doesn't, that doesn't seem very supportive at all. You know what I'm saying or whatever. And as far as her standing, Monique standing in her truth, I feel like as put Pierre, I believe it said at first, everybody has to do what's right for them. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's, playing the game, if you will, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, you might be that person that, hey, this fits me. I don't mind doing X, Y, and Z to get to this point because I know that if I do this, this, and this, it's going to pay off in a way that's going to be uh, super beneficial to me later. And I think as entertainers and anybody, you know, right. sometimes interns, of course, what do they do at first? But I think Monique's point is, you know, I'm not an intern no more, so I shouldn't have to, you know, be right. paying dues play, play on my in own, this play way. On my own terms. At what yeah. point does that cease? And so, um, and maybe Whoopi was just saying, I feel you, but there was another path you could have went down to get, um, to get the solution that you wanted or what happened. Absolutely. You. And I and, and we haven't heard from Whoopi as of yet. Um, since then, you know, she hasn't quite said much, but I think as this continues to unfold, I do hope to hear from her and, and kind of see how, how things turn out. But as always, I appreciate you all for chiming in. You heard from us, and I want to hear from you in the comments below. What are your thoughts about Whoopi's latest suspension? For Comedy Hype News, I'm Symphony Thompson. Put it in the comments. If you say it, own it. It's okay to apologize sometimes. I ain't apologize. <laughs> yeah. Do you know the comedy culture? Play Comedy Hype, the game. Out now.